These women are incredible. Um, so when I, I remember my grandmother's shopping experience for post-mastectomy products. So she was diagnosed way before I was born, but for her to buy prosthetics and post-mastectomy bras, she always had to go into a medical supply store, um, like aisles of Bengay and Walkers and like electric scooters. And like in the back, they would measure her for her post-surgical bras and prosthetics behind a curtain. And I remember way back then thinking, wow, someone should really do something about that. Like breast cancer survivors deserve so much more. Um, fast forward when I was in college and there's a very big, sexy lingerie store, and there was a petition made for them to acknowledge breast cancer. And um, over 250,000 women signed the petition, but this company chose to still not acknowledge breast cancer. I remember thinking, someone should do something about that. Um, <laughs> then got back to my normal life. Um, I was studying business and graduated from undergrad, and I was at a breast cancer 5K, and I met a doctor, Dr. Regina Hampton, who's a surgeon in our area, and she came up to me and said, you know, I have an idea about having a store for breast cancer survivors. And suddenly all those memories came back. So I started giving her tips and advice like, you know, do this, have a lease audit, don't get overcharged for your lease, um, find your decorator here, and those kind of things. And I was like, well, good luck with that business. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> um, but she kind of caught up with me and said, hey, you know, maybe we should talk about having this together and um, really creating it. So about three years later, we opened. And we now um, have a Rolodex of about 1,700 breast cancer survivors that we help um, to be fitted for prosthetics. And beyond just prosthetics, we also have 3D um, printing services that we use inside of our store to create custom breast prosthetics. So our breasts come in 36 different skin tones. Women can then choose their nipple size, color, the depth projection of their nipple. They can add freckles and veins to their prosthetic and then they can wear it inside of a traditional bra. So she doesn't have to feel so ostracized and she has the dignity that's brought back to that shopping experience. So that's what we do. Um, my grandmother has since passed away, but we have her portrait framed inside the store, sort of like she's overseeing us and watching over us. Um, and that's just been a full circle moment for me.